I'm coming to you from Goodwill. I had to get out of the house and gonna go see my son who just moved into a new place and I had to get out of the house. I'm looking at bags right now. Looking for fringy and maybe a dress to wear for surgery. They had some cute ones. I left the area and I look back and here's one. Let's see if I like it. Let's see. What do you guys think? Is it pants? It is not pants. That's quite cute. Well, they're a little bit pricey today on their clothes. I don't think I'm going to buy any clothes. It's not really... I thought I'd get some material maybe to cover my kitchen chair and uh, I don't know what else I'm looking for. I'm not really looking for anything. I just had to get out of my house. I made my husband bring me. <sighs> so we'll see what else we can find. Hi guys. Welcome back to Nutty's Niche. I'm Nutty. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yesterday I got out. I'm going to show a little bit of that video uh, after this because uh, this is going to be my little U-Haul. Or maybe I'll show it before this. I don't know. Maybe all of this will be cut out. Who knows? Hi guys. <laughs> I went to U-Haul yesterday just simply because I had to get out of my house, um, except to see my daughter uh, and my son at his new place. I really have not been out in the world. Uh, I went shopping. Hmm, I went to Walmart. It's been, been, a few, been a few weeks ago. But I haven't been anywhere else, and that was just to get food because I'm like everyone else, just staying home. Well, aside from the fact that I'm, you know, still running around with the injury. Uh, so, as it were. So, I went to Goodwill. I did find a, cu a few things. I found this amazing material. I have been wanting to recover my kitchen chair uh, in something uh, fresh, fruity, fun, colorful. And I thought I had found it in some pillowcases, but the pillowcases were too small. And I didn't want to seam, so I didn't proceed. I have the foam. I have everything I need to do it, but not the material. And I just happened to be walking by and look at this amazing stuff. This is just up my alley. It's trash day. I should have known. Look at that. So one of these big flowers is going to be... The centerpiece to my, ooh, that probably right there, to my kitchen chair. Isn't that cool? And I have material left over, so if I get other cushioned kitchen chairs, I can do the same thing with them, and they'll all match, because um, there's plenty of material here for that. Um, it's the only thing I would use it for. It's not really my thing, but it's perfect for chairs for underneath the table. I only have three kitchen chairs. Two of them are matching wood chairs. Uh that don't have cushions, and then my great big kitchen chair that I love to sit, no one else sits in this my chair. Uh, but anyway, now it's gonna have this on it. And then I found this super cute top, which right after I show you this, I'm gonna stop, show off my cute top. I hope it fits, I hope it's not too big. It might be too small, but I don't think it's gonna be too small. But isn't that cute? I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try it on, and uh, it might be a little bit too big. I like things a little bit loose, but sometimes things can be too loose because I have the arms, you know. Can't get away from those. And and you know we did we found a lot of fun things at U-Haul, but we're trying U-Haul Goodwill, but we're trying not to spend spend money. We were looking mainly for the grandson some sporting equipment. Uh, but I think we have him covered. We didn't find anything that he would find useful. But as we, <laughs> my husband thought we had escaped, he goes, what's that? And I looked and I said, what is that? And it was this. And this thing is heavy. Oh, get this amazing. Now, 
we thought this was all like put together glass, blown, whatever, however way they do this type of glass. Um, but it seems to be painted on the blue part and the green seems to be green. Like it goes green, white, and then somebody put blue on it. I'm not real sure. The bottom of it seems to be scraping off. Yeah. Anyway, it's a super heavy glass. It's so heavy. It's a great vase. Stop. My dog, I have to over yell him at least once before he will shut up. It's like, you must uh, be stronger than I am because I'm the boss. Anyway, I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with this, but the second thing after we saw it and saw how cool it was, uh, my husband said, oh, the perfect block for our first glass wall that he wants to build me eventually in a place of our own. I don't know, but I'm going to sit it in the floor somewhere and put some flowers in it or some, some fake flowers because, you know, fake flowers. It's the desert after all. Um, that's about all I got for, for now until I try on my shirt and see how we like it. It's going to be one of those videos, guys. We're going to jump around. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, I, I like my top. It's, I think it's supposed to be a dress because it's got two layers for uh, privacy or what have you, but uh, it's a top for me. Uh, my legs don't accept dresses. <laughs> Let me adjust this camera just a little bit. A little bit better. Got my paint quarter set up in the back. It's my new phone, guys, so this is going to be my very first video with my new phone. Alrighty. So I like the top really well. Uh, my only issue, I had a little issue with the bra, but I think I can fix that when I'm wearing it. And, uh, yeah, looks cute. Five dollars. So, we'll go with it. Alrighty. So, on my Facebook with my friends, I was uh, posted this morning that I uh, got a, um, from my doctor's office, a opiate risk assessment tool. And they want me to fill it out for them before I uh, get my next round of pain medication, which is going to fall right about the same time that I'm getting my hip replacement. So I'm hoping that even though I fill this out, I'm hoping that there won't be any need for him to give me any more medicine. I'm hoping that, uh, well, opiates, I, I'm sure he'll still be giving me my gabapentin until I can wean myself off of it because um, that's for the nerve damage that's that is in my uh, leg and uh, the few times that I have been off the gabapentin because of this, you know, um, whatever, uh, it definitely can feel a difference with the gap without the gabapentin. So uh, I'm not going to be getting rid of the gabapentin, but I'm definitely ready to get rid of opiates. And I feel like the orthopedic surgeon will be giving me pain medicine to go home. And after that, I shouldn't have any more pain right now. I'm taking pain medicine for the hip. My uh, thigh doesn't, and groin area does not seem to be giving me any of the issues that um, I went, went through in uh, October of 2019. So, um, uh, that's encouraging. All of that's encouraging. But um, I'm going to fill out this form. But before I did, I thought I would share, some, share it with you because it's so funny because I am a uh, certified, oh, whatever is the word that means when you've been through all of the stuff and uh, the doctor says this is your diagnosis. So I have been diagnosed with bipolar and I have uh, manic depression. Like, it, and maybe the two don't go together, but unfortunately for me, that's my life. Uh, so... And uh, unfortunately for the people around me, that's been my life, all of my life. I'm just crazy. And I've been tested, as Sheldon would say. He says he's never, that he was tested, but so have I. And uh, I am crazy. And I don't let it get to me. So my first question is, is how often do you have mood swings? 
Now there is no place on here. They got never sell them sometimes, often and very often. And there's, you know, I'm just like, how do I answer that? Do I answer it before drugs? Because before drugs might, might be bad because all the time, often, I'm crazy mood swing person, girl. Uh, yeah. I don't need medication. If anything, my husband says my medication has calmed me down a little bit. How often do you need higher doses of medication to treat the pain? Well, I have not been taking extra medicine for the pain. I have been doing a lot more sitting than I was doing prior to, um, you know, I was in a wheelchair. Then I worked myself out of the wheelchair and I was walking pretty much by myself in the house. And then uh, right before in September, I went shopping for uh, my uh, granddaughter was getting ready to be born. We were going to have a big family thing. We we're going to have a big Halloween party. And I had started all the shopping for it. And um, so uh, I went shopping and I spent like two hours walking. And when I came home from that trip, I did not feel the same in my hip anymore. Any medicine that went into my hip and gave me relief in my hip while I was dealing with all of the stuff that was going on in my thigh uh, is gone. So I am working bone on bone and I feel it all. And the pain medicine, while it is probably takes the edge off of it, I still feel it all. And uh, I don't... Uh, take more because I don't want to run out. I'd rather feel what I feel than to feel what I did feel. So um, I'm too scared of running out that I pretty much take it just the way it says. And if I'm feeling more pain than usual, I'm sitting in the chair more than usual. How often have you felt impatient with your doctors? Only one time, only one time. And that was that physician's assistant who acted like, you know, I was a pill seeker. How often have you felt that things are just too overwhelming that you can't help help them? Okay, my life is overwhelming sometimes, but I never feel like, oh, what was me? I have to, I don't, I've never felt like that for a long time. How often is there tension at home? Well, I live here alone. If there's tension here at home, there's going to be... <laughs> Somebody better, somebody better get some, uh, get some therapy or something if there's tension at home and you're the only one here. <laughs> how often have you counted pain pills to see how there are remain? Me, I count everything. I feel like my grandma Flo, she used to count all her pills. I count them when I get them to make sure I got proper count because sometimes a pharmacy can make a mistake. It happens. And I do count them towards the end of the weeks to make sure in my brain you're doing... Because sometimes, guys, I do forget if I've taken my pills. I do. It's me. But when I do that, I usually don't take anymore. I just go without. Because... If I, I don't want to over medicate myself, I'm here alone. I don't want to over medicate myself and have something happen to me. So I just don't take it. If I, for, if I think I've forgotten, did you take your medicine? I just don't take any more because I don't want to get, I don't want to have a problem. How often have you been concerned that people judge you for taking pain? I, I've never concerned what people think of me. Oh, I'm making YouTube videos. Everybody can think what they want of me. I don't care what you think of me. I'm in pain. I'm taking pain medicine. When I'm not in pain, pain medicine's not going to be part of my life. How often have you worried about being left alone? How often have you felt a craving for medication? Uh, when I'm trying to stand there and wash dishes and I've stood the wrong way and I come up off my hip and that pain grabs me, I'm like, oh, is it time for medicine? Uh, it's a lot less. I get a lot less of those feelings since um, my thigh has, uh, the medicine has left my thigh. But I'm not craving. I understand this question, but I'm not, I'm not that person. How often have others expressed concern over your use of medication? Um, actually, they do voice concern. They voice concern that I'm not telling my doctor how much pain I'm in and I'm not taking enough medication. Personally, I think I'm taking just enough, 
Maybe I'm not taking enough, but maybe I should just keep sitting. Just saying. I hate to be a sitter because I sat for so long, but uh, there it is. Uh, how often have your close friends had problems with alcohol and drugs? I'm pretty choosy with my close friends and uh, no, I come from a alcoholic family and my mother chose not to have that life and I saw what it did to uh, other people's lives and I did not choose that life for my family. Um, I do smoke cannabis. I've always smoked cannabis and I've never felt like I was addicted. Uh, I'm getting ready to go off of cannabis to make sure that my lungs are as clear as possible for this upcoming surgery. Um, but I've never felt like I was addicted. It is what it is. And then I just, uh, I do like it. Not gonna lie. All right. But not the opiates. I, I'm not, nah. How often have others told you that you have a bad temper? <laughs> This one made me laugh out loud while I was reading it. And my husband, he, when I told him what it said, he also had a big chuckle too. How often have you felt consumed by the need to get pain medication? I don't want to run out. I want to keep it continuous. I don't want to be in more pain than I am in. I still have to get up out of the chair, walk to the bathroom. I still have chores to do in my kitchen. <clears throat> so I love my husband, but, but he comes in and cooks. And I do the cleaning. That's our personal agreement. And I do like to stand there and put the dishes in the dishwasher. It's so hard. And wash all the counters and cabinets. I would do that anyway. Even if he did it, I would still go in there and wash all the cabinets and counters. And because I'm that way, I like things to be a certain clean like, after myself. Uh, so, yeah. How often have you run out of pain medication early? Nope. Nope. How often have, this one, this one cra cracked me up so hardcore. How often have others kept you from getting what you deserve? What the heck kind of question is that? Nobody ever keeps me from doing anything. Have you ever heard of Amazon? How often in your lifetime have you had legal problems or been arrested? No. How often have you attended meetings, AA or NA meetings? I've never been to one. How often have you been in an argument that was so out of control that someone got hurt? Okay, once. Okay, once. But I was, in, we were in our 20s and we was uh, emotionally crazy and didn't have anything to do with drugs. How often... Have others suggested you have a drug or alcohol problem? <laughs> okay, to be honest, um, all of my life there have been people who say, shame, 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 I know your name, about my cannabis and look down on me because I have smoked cannabis pretty much since I became an adult. And uh, look down on me, whatever, uh, but it... I. I never drank. I didn't drink and take my children drinking. And people that usually smoke pot usually sit and stay where they're at. So I never got high and took my kids anywhere either. So I think I'm good. Uh, how often have you had to borrow pain medications from your family and friends? Prior to going to the doctor and getting my own prescription for medications, I have had to do that a few times, but not since I have been on medication. I'm going to answer that not. And how often have I been treated for alcohol? I've never been treated. Now, down here, I'm going to write down here, I am bipolar. Might want to take that into consideration when reading my answers. Because I want to be honest, but I really am just going to answer this as per um, since my drug use. I hate to say that. Since my opiate use. Let's do that. Since my opiate use, I will answer the questions as per my opiate use. Because I'm bipolar. Lots of these questions just, uh, uh, a lot of these questions just, um, are there. They're exact. They're me. They're me. What? They're me. Later, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.